Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm doing a fun video that has been requested for quite a while now. I just never got around to it, and I'm like, you know what? I need to make this video for you guys, and it's how I read tarot cards. In order to keep this succinct, <laughs> I'm just going to give you like the quick rundown of basics of how I actually read tarot cards. Um, because I've, I've heard from so many of like my subscribers and people that, you know, I connect with on social media that did, they, this is something they want to get into. They just feel overwhelmed. You know, there's, it seems like so many, um, you know, definitions to learn and so many words and so many meanings and so many this and so many that and they feel like they need to freaking do an intensive study before they read and although I do believe that you know reading up on tarot and uh, learning different meanings of you know symbolism and and uh, getting different you know vocabulary words built into um, your knowledge of the tarot I do believe is really important but I don't feel like that is something that you should consider yourself like an ace at before you actually read cards um, because like for myself you know and I know there's more than just me um, you know I've basically been toying around with cards since I was really young, you know, like in the single digits, <laughs> young. And I would just read off of what I saw in the cards, not knowing that there was any sort of meaning, not even knowing that there was something called tarot. I just read cards. Um, and so I want to show you as an intuitive reader, uh, what I do when I read cards um, or how I read tarot and how I put the little stories together. Um, and I want to do this quickly so that you guys don't have to sit here and you can get straight away to playing with your cards, <laughs> whatever deck of cards you have laying around. Now quickly just want to say that there are many different systems out there. Uh, the system that I have here before me is a Rider Waite Smith, uh, Rider -Waite -Smith system. Um, but I don't want people to feel like that's some sort of superior system or it's the only system, um, you know, or that there's a particular system you need to learn on. For some people, their opinion is, oh, you should, you should learn with an RWS. Okay. Well, when I started like actually reading tarot, it was the, uh, Osho Zen, you know, and then later on I learned the RWS. So, um, you know, and I've, I've heard of people who started with like Marseille and some people started with Len Armand. So, you know what, like <laughs> you start where you at. Okay. <laughs> um, and I do have a couple of book recommendations here, you know, uh, for getting into the tarot, uh, by the way, these are not the only books out there. I just, you know, want to mention them. Uh, one of them is The Kitchen Table Tarot by Melissa Sinova. I know that she's coming out with another book as well. This one is more of like, um, like a down to earth, younger hipster ish type language when it comes to the tarot. If you want something that's a little more academic, uh, but not too heady, uh, I would recommend uh, The 78 Degrees of Wisdom by Rachel Pollock. Um, this is one that you probably hear a lot of people talk about. Uh, it's It's got a lot of information, especially about symbolism. Uh, I have many other books, but I think that these are the two um, that I think are most readily available. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump in. Uh, I have actually three OG Rider Waite Smith decks here. This one is actually my uncle's from uh, 1961, and he had gifted it to me. Um, and I mean, for 1961, the box is still in fairly good condition. Uh, this is another deck that is uh, much newer, but um, you know, uh, it it has the the traditional. Um, pictures uh, for the Rider Waite Smith. And here we have the giant Rider Waite here. But uh, the deck that I have before me is the Light Sears Tarot, and that is by Chris Ann. And so let's say I'm super excited, like, oh, I want to learn to read the tarot. And the first deck I buy is this one because I was really like connected to the pictures that I saw online. I really love the images and all of that. And so I take my cards out of the box. And I'm like, yay, my first deck. And I'm like, ooh, the backs are so pretty. I mean, they are. <laughs> um, and then I, I turn over the cards and I'm like, okay, the world, king of cups, uh, page of cups. Um, um, am I supposed to know the meanings of these? You know, so all, all of a sudden you're like, okay, well maybe I need to go to the guidebook. So then you'll, you'll bust out the guidebook here and you'll realize that in uh, for each of these 
axis, there's a shadow self, like a light seer and a shadow seer. There's, you know, reversals and uprights. And I'm like, whoa, there's like a lot of stuff in here. Whoa, <laughs> I don't know if I can memorize this whole book. So my advice would be put the book to the side. And what I want you to do, and you could, you could go, um, see a little more slowly with this. And let's say you pull a card a day. Um, so I'm going to go with the, the long version and the, and the fast version, long version, pull a card a day. Let's say I pull the world card. Okay. I look at the world card and I'm like, well, I don't know what it means. So what I want you to do is actually look at the picture. Like what, what do you actually physically see in the picture? What are the colors that you see in the picture? What are the um, shapes that you see in the picture? What's the expression? If there's a person, what's the expression of the person or the animal uh, that's in the picture? If it's a flower, what, what feeling are you getting? So what feeling am I getting from this? Well, let me look at this picture here. I got this girl, she seems super happy. And there's like this yellow, kind of like the sun. So I don't know. And I, oh, I recognize the symbol behind her. That's like the seed of life. The seed of life is about beginnings. Okay. But then I see all these other symbols. I'm not really familiar with those, but the yellow makes me happy. And I like that she's kind of got these like, like rainbow colors on her dress. I don't know. I just feel like she is like really fulfilled like super happy wherever she is. And then she's like within this circle. Um, so it's like, I don't know, almost like the circle came together. Um, or you could be like, uh, is that actually like a snake eating its tail? I'm not sure. So you would, you would take all that into account. Just how do you feel with it? I feel like she's super happy. <laughs> I feel like you know, like something's coming together or maybe even something is beginning, you know? So if I was doing a, a card of the day, you know, I got this card, I would write all that stuff down, okay? And then the next thing I would do is I would go into the guidebook. So I'm actually gonna find the world card in here. Okay, so let's see, world card, where are you? So that'd be card 21, let's get to that okay card 21 Ooh, and big bold letters that says i accept this gift of completion oh i was thinking of something being completed and i ascend to new uh, levels of aware oh i was talking about the the seed of life being something new uh new new levels of awareness and wholeness i am love okay well that's that's kind of what i was getting from that i mean not those exact words you know, so then you look at the light self, completion, joy, wholeness, achievement, happy endings, abundance, success, new levels of consciousness, literally traveling the world, you know, and I could read through here and, and I would put down any of those, those things that I read and I would put them down in my journal. I would never, ever discount my initial feelings with the card. Please don't ever discount that just because, um, something that you felt isn't exactly in here word for word doesn't mean you're wrong. I am always like, please don't ever distrust your intuition. The moment you start to distrust your gut, your intuition, uh, the harder it is to, um, I think really, really put yourself into the cards for reading. So I'm all about, you know, <laughs> put your intuition into it. Um, and don't, don't ever feel like your intuition is somehow wrong. You know, um, I always believe gut intuition first. Okay. So then, uh, let's say, you know, I have this kitchen table tarot here. I want to look up the world card in here too, because maybe I want to add to my vocabulary. Um, so major arcana is on page 53. Okay. So we're going to get to the world card again. That is number 21. There we go. Oh, then I notice let's, that's kind of something similar going on here. There's a circle. There's a lady. They both look really joyful. There's like these, I don't know, four figures here, but then I also see these like four symbols here. Okay. So something about these things must be similar to, for this, this, uh, tarot system, you know, because this is an RWS system and the keywords or the phrase down here is I am transforming. Okay, so then I would read, 
you know, all about this and what the inverted, you know, meaning of the card might be. And I would write that all down, you know, in my diary, maybe not word for word, but, you know, just things that stand out to me uh, as it connects to my initial feeling of the card. So that's like the long version. That's something that you can do each day is just going card by card or pulling a card for yourself, whatever card pops out. Um, and then the next thing to do in your, your journal is by the end of the day, let's say I pulled the world card and now I, I, I put down what my initial feelings were. I put down what it said in the guidebook. I put down, you know, if I had another tarot book laying around, you know, I put all those keywords and thoughts and phrases together in my diary or my journal. Um, and then at the end of the day, okay, well, how did that card connect to my day? Well, you know, <laughs> I finished studying for something and I felt really joyful. Okay, maybe that's how that card connected, you know, and I'd write that down in the journal. Okay, so again, that's the long version that you could do with uh, learning to read with tarot, um, making sure that your intuition is always the first thing, and then just consider everything else that can add on to what your initial feeling was. Because I'm like, your initial feeling is never wrong, I'm just saying. Um, and then see how it connects throughout your day so that you can start to make, you know, connections, real life connections. Okay, the faster version. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm shuffling my cards and let's say, uh, okay, I'm just, I'm just really excited. I just want to uh, do a reading now. Um, and I am doing my journaling, you know, I am doing that stuff, but, but I just want to, I want to do an actual reading. So let's say I want to, I want to pull three cards, you know, and, um, and I have a question. And my question is, um, you know, I'm, I'm a teacher, by the way, so the new school year is starting on August 10th. So I want to know, um, what should I prepare for most coming August 10th? Okay, what should I prepare for most? Okay, so like, is it the curriculum? Is it something with the kids? Like, what should I be the most prepared for coming August 10th? Okay, I'm gonna pull three cards. There's card one, card two, and card three. Okay, just gonna put that off to the side there. Okay, so I'm like, yay, I'm gonna do a reading for myself. And then I'm like, oh, um, should I look at the guidebook? Like, no, stay away from the guidebook. <laughs> I need to go to the, no, stay away. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to go with your intuition. So if you need to write it down on paper first, you can do this. Okay. So we're going to look at the first card and, and write your question down too. So what do I need to prepare for more uh, first or most um, on August 10th for the new school year? Okay. So I'm like, <laughs> and make sure that you are in a calm headspace, by the way, when you do readings. So don't just do them all willy nilly, like, you know, <laughs> like actually kind of be a little respectful of, of the, the information coming through. So uh, I don't know if you want to just chillax for a second, meditate, whatever it is, just get yourself in a nice, nice little headspace. And I look at the first card. We have the 10 of wands. Um, I don't know. This girl doesn't look as joyful as I saw in that world card. I don't know. The colors are really dark and gray. I got this uh, kind of like a yak or an ox and he's got all this stuff on his back. Um, this girl looks like she's got her belongings and, and she's just like, I don't know that whatever journey this is, it doesn't, doesn't look too good. Okay. So I, I, I might write that down on my scratch piece of paper here. I'm not doing anything too in depth. I'm just, I have my question and I say that card one kind of looks like a really heavy card. I don't know, it just looks heavy. It looks kind of dark, looks kind of sad. The next card I have here is the Six of Cups. Okay, I'm like, well, this is a lot happier because you got a puppy, you got a big dog. Um, but this guy and this guy, this little kid here, they're wearing the same clothes and it's like a little, little golden and then you have an adult golden retriever here. I think this is like when this guy was a little kid maybe. I don't know. But it just seems happy. Like these colors are way more happy than this. Over here, you got these it's like happy dog. Um, I don't know, something with kids, something just being happy. Okay, so I'd put all that down. 
Then my final card, I have the Nine of Cups. Again, this looks like a really happy card. There's light literally bursting from this lady's chest. Like, how cool is that? And there's like cups everywhere. There's gold. There's treasure. Whoa, this kind of looks like riches. Okay, so then I'm going to create keywords for myself. So I have dark and heavy, happy children, uh, riches, and light. Okay, and like happiness too, maybe. And I put all those keywords down. So now I want to try to put it together like a story. So this is the fun part. You get to be like a storyteller or a writer. And so I have to go back to my original question. Um, what should I prepare for most uh, for August 10th, you know, the new school year? Well, with this first card, uh, something about it being kind of heavy, um, you know, Maybe, maybe it's going to be kind of, kind of stressful. I don't know. This start, this card is kind of dark. Maybe it's going to be kind of heavy that first day. Um, but we have this happy card with kids. So maybe I'm actually, maybe I'm actually going to have fun with these new students. I don't know. It seems like kind of good from here on, right? Like you got this, this not so good card, but then you have like these two happy cards. So if I were putting to this together in a reading, I might say, well, Maybe my initial impression is that it's going to suck. <laughs> but with, with the kids here, I, I, might, I might actually have fun with the kids. And it might be actually a really joyful experience you know, on that first day. So maybe I should prepare myself for joy and not prepare myself for tragedy. <laughs> and so maybe that might be my message for myself. Now, if you want to, you can look in the guidebook for some extra vocabulary, but not <clears throat> excuse me, not to replace your initial intuition. I just want to stress that. Okay, when you look in here, when you look in other books, when you listen to stuff that you see online or read online, um, let that help to add flavor and color to what you already came up with. Okay, so um, what I said as a definition for each of these is probably not exactly what you're going to see in here or see in here because I'm going off of my intuition. And it doesn't mean that my reading is wrong uh, because it's coming from um, a different place than, um, you know, just uh, textbook definitions. It just, when you just go by textbook, it's so cold. You know, you, you lack the humanity in the reading. The humanity is you. Okay, you have to put your intuition in it. So again you know so i just want to get you guys up and running those of you that have been a little tentative about reading tarot cards um you know it's it's really not about learning every single definition and meaning out there before you can get started by all means please do a study on it while you are you know getting to know cards and getting um comfortable with your intuition um, because I do think it's important that you know you, you do read other perspectives that are out there and that's just all that they are perspectives you know you have Melissa Sinova this is her perspective on the cards you have Rachel Pollock this is her perspective on the cards as do many other authors have different perspectives on the cards um, even the creator themselves of their decks they have a perspective of the cards but everybody else's perspective is not your perspective. You can add them into your reading, but really the number one person you should listen to is yourself. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. I hoped it, get, uh, it gets you to um, just start, start messing with your cards, <laughs> start asking questions um, and start writing stuff down and start just getting more comfortable with how how uh, messages or meanings or words come through for you. Do you start to see images in your head as you're looking at a card? Do you start to hear music in your brain? Do you, are you most attracted to the colors? Are you most attracted to the emotions in here? Do you start feeling a particular emotion when you are looking at the card? Take all of that stuff in because it's all a part of your reading. Okay, so let me know if this helped any of you guys out there with your you know, maybe some trepidation that you've had uh, with getting started uh, reading tarot. Because I know for a lot of people, they have emailed me and they said, hey, how do you read tarot cards? It seems like such a daunting task. And maybe I don't have years to devote to study before I actually start reading. And I'm like, you know, 
<laughs> I need to make this video for you guys. So anyway, I hope you dug it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that notification bell ding, 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 for more videos just like this. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any comments or questions. And if you would like to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com and uh, let me know if, um, well, when, and whenever you guys feel comfortable enough uh, to give a reading, I would be more than happy to pay you for a reading. Okay. So, uh, if you would like to throw a little love my way, think about joining the KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot. And Hey, if you want to sign up for my newsletter, which is absolutely free, I hit your inbox once a month on the first of every month. That is the only time I hit your inbox. Then I have, um, witchy DIYs, arts and crafts DIYs, channels that I'm watching, music that I'm listening to, herbs that I'm using, decks that I'm using, uh, et cetera, et cetera. If that interests you, then sign up for my newsletter and over on my website not only do I have lots of readings and my room body sprays and my stabs and my bracelets and all that good stuff but I have my own deck I have my Wally's World Oracle and if you're wondering about oracles how you read with oracles um, I will link that down below as well I did a video on how I read with oracle cards and actually that's my little Wally Wallito there um, but this was community created community funded I'm really proud of it so definitely check it out and that's it for me spiritual homies all right Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.